Thank you. <clears throat> First of all, I want to thank you for inviting me tonight, and also uh, thank everyone for coming tonight. Um, <clears throat> it's not often I get to do a, a forum like this. In general, these are political, uh, strictly political, and, and not about uh, specific issues. Um, I believe one of the ways you'll solve this is is this multi-pronged grassroots peer-to-peer -peer approach. You have to have. <clears throat> Excuse me, summer cold. Uh, you have to have uh, people of similar age uh, dealing with the uh, people that have this problem, uh, regardless whether it's alcohol or heroin, whatever, um, and and getting them to uh, convince them either not to begin this or to get some help. Um, <clears throat> you, you have to approach their thinking and their behavior at this age. Uh, I think as people get older, they, they tend to get uh, fixed in their uh, in their uh, methods, methods and, and uh, are less likely to change. Um, I believe we need to uh, address specifically. That's a minute. Okay. Thank you. Democrat running um, for the forty third assembly. All right. Thank you very much, and thank you so much for all the groups and the folks uh, putting this on tonight. And also, uh, thanks for the voters for being here, too. It, it really is nice to see a good crowd here uh, talking about some very important uh, topics in our state, especially. Uh, I am Andy Jorgensen. A little bit about me. Uh, I live in Milton. I'm married to my wife, Tony, for 21 years. We have three children, Jens, Miles, and Cameron. So I'm a dad. Uh, I serve in the State Assembly. have served uh, four terms. I'm seeking my fifth. I uh, also serve as the uh, uh, caucus chair in the assembly for the Democrats. And so I'm in leadership, a job that I just uh, cherish. Uh, also alongside serving with the fine people of uh, the district uh, I uh, am serving now, which includes Whitewater, uh, Milton, Edgerton, and all the little townships in between. It even goes up to part of the village of Oregon. So uh, again, I look forward to the discussion that we're going to have here tonight. Uh, it's very important, and as I mentioned before, I'm a dad, so it's real important to me that we get this figured out and we get on the right track. Thank you very much. The candidate is Dan Kilkenny, who is a Democrat, running for the 11th Senate seat. Um, <clears throat> thank you again. My name is Dan Kilkenny. I am running for the state 11th Senate district. Uh, I've served on the Walworth County Board since 2006 and on the town board of Darien since 2001. Uh, those positions, as you might know, are nonpartisan. Uh, so my political experience is based on problem solving, not seeking party advantage. A little personal background, I'm the 11th child in a family of 12. I'm an uncle and great uncle and great great uncle to over 100. I think that gives me a very broad experience. Uh, I, was, I was married for 30 years. I raised a son to age 24. My mother at age 88 moved in with me in 2005. I took care of her for five years until she died in my house in 2010. A few months after that, my wife died unexpectedly of an undiagnosed heart ailment. I think my life experience gives me a greater sense of compassion and understanding of the health issues that do affect families in Wisconsin. I understand that there are many forces in a person's life that affects their outlook on life and the choices that they make. And I think to have real solutions, we really need to stop this endless uh, partisan bickering. We need to get the best information, talk to each other, and most important, listen to each other. Thank you. Thank you. Our candidate is Deb Polsey. She's a Democrat. She's running for the 44th Assembly seat. She is in the yeah, <laughs> um, Thank you for having me here. I appreciate this forum and I appreciate the groups that work so hard at this. Um, this is such a vital <coughs> issue. I've worked for um, over 40 years in, in the medical field. My husband is a family physician who teaches at a residency program, and we know firsthand how much these issues affect um, the medical care of so many people. I, I served in the, uh, I, this last session, I served on the health committee and also on the speaker's task force on mental health. And, and these issues are at the forefront. We also did a lot of heroin bills this year, but what we didn't address is how we can help stop it. Um, I, I want to go to, I, I am going to Washington in a, a few weeks at, to a, convention and I hope to hear from students about how, how they get involved with um, opiate use in, you know, 
drug use through um, medical use and how that takes them to heroin. So I'll be interested in what that has to say. So again, just thank you for having us here. This is such a vital topic. Great to see Andy Lautenbeck. <coughs> She's a Republican. <laughs> And I am running for my third term in the Wisconsin State Assembly. I represent the 31st Assembly District, which includes Eastern Rock and Western Walworth County. So I have East of Beloit and uh, all the way over to Williams Bay and Walworth and Walworth <coughs> County, and then up to Elkhorn and back over to the northeast side of Kansas. <coughs> and it's interesting because the issues in Rock County and the issues in Walworth County related to particularly the heroin epidemic are not much different, and uh, and they're not that much different than my colleague John Nygren from Marinette, Wisconsin. This is an epidemic, it's, it's not limited just to big cities, it's definitely uh, across Wisconsin and across the country, and I do commend the work that we've done this past session on um, on the mental health and, and heroin and opiate bills, and, uh, but I know that we have a lot of work to do. Deb and I, uh, Representative Colsey and I work together on the bill related to voluntary health care providers that would that helps clinics such as Open Arms in Walworth County and Rock Health Net in Rock County. And I think the community solutions such as the voluntary health care provider system are some of the examples that might serve us well as we look to solve these further community problems. Thank you. Thank you. Ryan for that 15 seconds. Thank you all for being here and inviting me to join you. Um, I participated in this forum a couple of years ago, and quite frankly, I think I learned quite a bit from that opportunity and look forward to learning more again tonight. I currently represent the 45th Assembly District, which is part of Rock County, including Boyd, Orfordville, Evansville, and part of Green County, which is Albany, Broadhead, Judah, and the surrounding areas. For the Senate District, I'm running for Senator Cullen's seat, so that's easier just to say that than people know where the area is. And uh, I'm really excited to be running for this seat. And I understand the issues that we are dealing with here tonight. A lot of them are very old issues. The heroin tends to be a newer issue. And I did sign on for the bills that we passed this past session. Uh, one of our colleagues, Representative Nigren, had a daughter who had experienced issues. And I knew of a young man who had died from a heroin overdose at the same time. So I took that very personally and feel very strongly about uh, stopping these health issues. Thank you. Who's <coughs> a Democrat uh, in the 45th and 7th District. Good evening. Thank you for hosting this forum, and uh, thank you all for coming out tonight. Uh, I'm Mark Spritzer, running for the 45th District. That's the seat that Representative Ringhand currently represents, which is roughly Beloit, Orfordville, Evansville in Rock County, and then Broadhead and Albany in Green County. I'm currently president of the Beloit City Council and have served on the City Council since 2011. Uh, so my experience is also in nonpartisan local government and uh, seeing some of the issues that we face there, uh, particularly with alcohol and tobacco and those local regulations. I think one of the great things that we have going here in Rock County is that we do have so many great organizations working on addressing these issues, especially through prevention. And so some of the solutions are obvious, making sure that we provide resources to those organizations to do the good work that we already know is working. Uh, but obviously there are other things, especially heroin, that we need some new solutions for, and I'm interested in discussing that tonight. So uh, th it's a pleasure to be here, and uh, these are issues that definitely are important to me, and hopefully we can find bipartisan solutions to s solve them. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you.